All right, how you guys doing? Reggie here again, and as you can see, I am not sitting in my kitchen. I'm actually uh, traveling for work today. Uh, I'm actually in Napa Valley, and it is extremely cold up here, so that's why I'm wearing this uh, this jacket to keep myself warm. I wanted to do a video today for two main reasons. I just picked up 20,000 comic books for $5. So you might be saying to yourself, how is that possible? I'm actually going to tell you. So for the last maybe two weeks or so, I've been debating whether I should pick up Marvel Unlimited. And that's the, the service that is offered through Marvel.com to actually be able to read comic books digitally. So I've been debating this for a couple of reasons. So I am a newly back into comics. Um, and as a kid, I always, you know, purchased my comic books and went to my room and, and read them uh, kind of in isolation. And now as, a, as, as an adult, right, and as a parent of two young kids, it's not quite possible for me to go to my room and to read, you know, my comic books in isolation because I have a, a family to engage with. So I've been debating this idea of the Marvel Unlimited service because it would allow me to, yes, still read my books, but do it in a way where I can actually still be, you know, surrounded by my family and not be in isolation. The other benefit is that uh, comic books are delicate, right? They're they're paper, and a and a one year old and a three year old don't really understand uh, delicate, not at all, right? And uh, so. It makes it really difficult to read comic books around around kids if you want to keep those comic books in, in one piece. And so the Marvel Unlimited offered me the opportunity to still be able to read books, but to be able to do it on my iPad or my phone without having to be in isolation or to worry about my books being destroyed. So the service um, right now, I think they have a deal going on where you actually pay five dollars a month for the service. I think it's discounted down from ten dollars a month uh, if you use the, the code Panther, um, but you have to do the annual membership. And I think it, it only ended up being, you know, 60 bucks for the entire year. And it gave me unlimited access to right now 20,000 comic books digitally. So I went ahead and signed up for it, not quite knowing what to expect. Uh, and I've been using it for the last three days. And I have to tell you, I am absolutely blown away by this service. It is a, a great service that gives me everything that I need, right? I have the ability to look at these things on my iPad, look at them on my phone. I can um, download them for offline viewing. Um, and I'll show you some of the functionality of this thing, but I am absolutely impressed by this app, which I put on both my iPad, which is what I'm recording on, but also on my iPhone as well. So I, I did something. I actually picked up uh, a book. I picked up, uh, I think a really uh, hot book right now. It is Totally Awesome Hulk, number 22, and a 9.8. So I just picked this up, and I bought it because I knew that uh, Weapon H, the new Weapon H, was actually in this book, and Weapon H was going to be getting his own book. And so I picked it up because I, I kind of knew that this was a significant book, but I also wanted to read the daggone thing, right? Um, and I knew that I looked on eBay, I was unable to find any reader copies, right, that I could pick up to be able to read it. So what Marvel Unlimited offered me was the ability to actually read this book, which I purchased as a slab, and be able to understand the story that was in the book to see where this character came from, where the character is headed. Um, and this is a cover that features Domino, Warpath, uh, Lady Deathstrike, and Sabretooth. It's a great cover, but I wanted to know the story inside. So Marvel Unlimited offered me the ability to do that. And in reading the book, I realized just how good the artwork the in the story was. And it, it prompted me to want to read more. And I searched on eBay. I was unable to find any large lots of these books that I could purchase to read. But through Marvel Unlimited, I was actually able to read uh, the, the entire story. I've actually gone back to issue number one. And I've read already from issue number one all the way to uh, issue number eight. Um, and I'm, I'm actually blown away, really 
by the story, by the artwork, by this character, by this new Hulk, because I knew that the Hulk had changed. Uh, but it was it was kind of cool to go back and see where that that Hulk actually came from and how he was related to Bruce Banner, the the Hulk that I've always known. And I've never really been a big Hulk fan, despite the fact that I'm wearing a green shirt and a green a green uh, hoodie. But this book was awesome, and this new Hulk it really is awesome. Uh, to kind of play on on the the title there. So I'm gonna pull this up for you guys so that you can check out some of the functionality in this thing. So you can see here, you can actually see the full page directly from the book. Um, and then you have the ability, if you double click on this thing, to actually read individual panels. And then you can skip through the panels. It'll actually zoom on certain areas, but then it kind of skips down through the, the individual page so that you can actually read it. So I think that's really great functionality that this thing has. So you can actually zoom out and then you can zoom in to the individual panels and kind of just tab through the individual panels. I mean, it's it's really well done the way that they've done this. And I wasn't sure if it was gonna work uh, all that well, but surprisingly it works incredibly well. And I think you also have the ability to like zoom in to some of the panels if you just wanna kinda check out some of the artwork because that was one of my other things is, am I going to be able to appreciate the artwork um, in the same way looking at it digitally versus looking at it in the book right before me? But I think with this zoom in feature, it allows you to be able to zoom in to see some of those those details. I mean, it, it, the functionality in this thing is actually pretty, pretty darn good, I have to say. I'm actually really, really impressed by the functionality. Um, let me see if I can show you guys some of the other features here, if we can get this thing to do it. So here you can actually see, this is the main page of where you log in. And you can see that a couple of books I've already saved down um, to, to view them offline. These are the ones that I'm currently reading, but they're also ones that I've downloaded to be able to read offline. And all you do, this is, uh, what is this, Venomverse. If you just click on that thing, you get a little prompt of whether you want to read now, mark as unread, remove from library, or remove from offline. Again, these are ones that I've already kind of downloaded. But you have the ability to kind of read through a little bit of the story here. And then uh, if you click read now, you will actually uh, boot up. I think it should go like to the cover. And it actually goes through the cover. The cr oh, Maybe I read that one already. So we'll read a new one, continue. So I'll read a new one here because I think I was on the very last page of that last book. So we'll see whether it's gonna do it, continue. As I mentioned, I'm in Napa and the uh, internet is not that good here. So then we may be having some, uh, some technical issues. Maybe I'll back up. So here, what I'm doing is clicking this little icon right up here, and it's gonna show us the individual page panels. And you can go to the front cover. You can actually view the cover. Zoom in on some of the artwork there. It's my uh, alerts at my house. So you can kind of tap through and go to the individual panels see so I mean this thing the functionality is just like what you would imagine from a regular reader you tap to the, the right side to advance the pages you tap to the left side to actually back it up and it's Marvel did a really good job with this app um, if you tap down at the bottom here you should get another menu but they they did a really good job so the, the thing about this is that the books only become available uh, six months after, or no, six weeks after they've been published. So they're constantly adding new books every single week. Um, books that are currently being published get published six weeks after they actually hit the shelves. So you, there is a little bit of a delay, which I, I completely understand. Uh, but there's also, as I mentioned before, there is a repository of roughly 20,000 titles that are available to you to be able to read. What I didn't really like is that 
there isn't a way to search for a title here. You have the ability to browse using this little icon here in the middle, um, but it doesn't really give you the ability to search per se. Actually, yes, it does. I just realized that there is a search function right inside of the browse window where I can probably type in some titles there. But it, it gives you the ability to, um, to browse in a couple of different ways by creator, by comic event, by publication date, by series, by character, you can see some of the icons up here, uh, by creator again, right? So there's a loop that gives you the ability to search uh, and to browse by certain topics, which I think is a, a nice way to be able to kind of navigate through this. If you go to the characters tab, you can see, of course, the Avengers and uh, Spider-Man there, allowing you to look at that. You have your library, and as kind of mentioned, I have the two books that I've, or the two titles that I've already downloaded to my library. The first of them being the Venomverse book, and of course, the Totally Awesome Hulk, which I've been reading from the very beginning. Let's back up here. Uh, some account features. There's also something called the reading list, and it's just, it looks like it's organized by mostly characters, um, by series, by creators, it just kind of allows you to kind of navigate through the library of the Marvel Universe uh, in, in a couple of different ways. So if you guys have not checked this thing out, I highly encourage you to do so, uh, you know, because I've been buying books that are already slabbed to save myself a little bit of time and effort to send them off to CGC. They're wonderful books that you probably want to read. Uh, depending upon the title, it seems like the Marvel Unlimited is a great way to go to be able to read these books that you otherwise wouldn't be able to read or that you would have to buy double copies of. One of the things that I may end up doing is I may end up buying a couple of copies and just automatically sending them off to CGC and being able to read the book a little bit later on here. Um, I have to figure out that balance, right, between reading a tangible book, reading here online, and what I send off to CGC. But my point is this offers a couple of options for being able to remain current uh, and to be able to read some books you otherwise wouldn't be able to read. Uh, my challenge now is because I've really enjoyed this Totally Awesome Hulk series, which is up to, I think, I don't know, maybe 25 now. Now I want to go back and get the hard copies of all these books just because the stories are so wonderful. So again, if you guys haven't checked it out, I highly encourage you to do so. Uh, and of course, if you have thoughts about this or questions about Marvel Unlimited, leave them below. I try to respond to all questions that you guys may have. I hope that you guys have a good day. Take care.